We are now joined live by the convener of the Center for Value Leadership, Professor Pat Utomi. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. It's a great pleasure. Why is the CVL beaming such light on history at this time? Because it's such an important thing to do. Um, the great Spanish writer, George Santayana, makes the point that people who don't know their history are very likely to repeat its mistakes. There is also a very powerful thing that comes from the experiences of countries like the United States and China, where a generation is motivated by the accomplishments of their forebears when they know that history. Uh, Nigeria is severely challenged by a generation that has not been provided enough opportunity to interact with and interrogate Nigerian history. Uh, and the res result is that many problems we could more easily deal with are becoming intractable. I, I give you a simple example. Um, in the last um, episode, we had Aremo Shegu Oshoba. In the next one, on the, I believe it's the 12th of July, we will have Alaji Tanko Yakasai from Kanu. is probably the most incarcerated, most persecuted political actor in Nigerian history. Uh, very interestingly, on October 1, 1960, when Nigeria became independent, a gentleman called Bisio Latilo, another gentleman who is Admiral Jibrila Ainla, became Chief of Naval Staff, Minister of Health, and myself were all primary school age children in Kano when Tanko Yekasai was being arrested and released as chairman of uh, the uh, NEPU, Northern uh, Element People's Union, one of the leading political parties of the time. And I thought that it might be a good late motive to get all these people to join while Tanko Yokosai is giving his take on Nigerian history right. in our next uh, episode. Uh, we do know that history, even in our curriculum, had some rocky uh, time, but uh, gratefully it's been reinstated. Uh, what can we do in your thinking to get more young people invested in knowing what the history says so they can uh, plan ahead for the future? It's very important to get the right teachers. You know, um, a teacher is the most important variable in education. If you have teachers who know the history well, are passionate about it, and recognize how that history can help solve current problems, young people will be very excited and will learn through the work that they do. Part of what we are doing with this series is to energize them and make them passionate about knowing much more. Uh, I know a couple of young people who followed us last Sunday and how they think that their window on Nigeria actually was significantly impacted by Aremo Oshoba's uh, journey and how he spoke to it with the passion that he did. A good part of why we're doing this is to get the young people to interact directly. So I have three co-hosts who are young people between the age of 19 and 29. And so they ask these questions from their perspective to get other young people to hook in effectively. All right, uh, quickly to wrap things up, with reference to the guest speaker, um, Mr. Oshoba, how bad is the waste stage in government and what can be done, at least in the immediate, to address it? It's a nightmare. I won't kid you. Uh, the waste stage is so much that I have come to redefine democracy. You know, the traditional 
Abraham Lincoln's definition of government of the people, for the people, by the people. If you look at the Nigerian scenario, what you see is, is government of politicians, by politicians, for politicians. If you just look at the scandal of the retirement packages of governors, if you look at the scandal of the use of the so-called security foods in our country, if you look at the scandal of the amount of money that people are paid directly and indirectly in the National Assembly, you will know that the wastage in government is directly related to why Nigeria is not making economic progress. What can we do in the interim? Uh, because we're actually it, uh, very limited on time. Yeah, it is uh, um, citizen activism. Uh, power must be checked. Anybody whose power is not checked will abuse it. And that's why the famous Lord Acton saying that power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Because there are no checks and balances in the Nigerian system, politicians have abused the Commonwealth. And citizens need to get activists in their nature to be able to stop that from going on. All right, Professor, thank you very much for the insights uh, on the issue of leadership on the news this evening. Pleasure.